all golden retrievers sniff each other's butts. But the weird thing about male goldens is that they're actually more likely to sniff another dog's butt than a female golden. And that's not the only weird thing about male golden retrievers. Let's talk about mounting, or as we immature people like to call it, humping. When you first bring home an eight-week-old male golden retriever puppy, you might be surprised to find that he's already humping his toys, other puppies, and even your leg. Yep, they start this uh, interesting behavior at a really young age. Right now, it's only part of their play style, but as they start to mature and hormones start raging through their veins, it'll be more of a sexual behavior. And even after they get neutered, they may still hump. Both female and male dogs are potential targets, as well as big stuffed toys, and yes, even you. They may do it when they're overexcited, they're trying to play, or they're trying to assert dominance. It can be a habit that they like to do, or they're just used to doing it. Kind of like barking when they see somebody walking outside through the window. Dogs that aren't quite sure of their place in the pack may hump other dogs to see where they stand in the pecking order. Of course, not all dogs put up with being humped, and it may lead to a little doggy scuffle. If your dog humps too much for your liking, you can train them to stop by 1. giving them something else to do, and 2. not letting them get the opportunity to do it anymore. My 3-year-old male Golden started getting into the habit of humping me when we were wrestling on the floor. Of course, I didn't want him doing that, so I would end our wrestling session before he got too excited and give him his favorite plush toy to play with so he wouldn't want to hump me anymore. It worked for us, but if your dog has a more serious humping problem, then you'll definitely want to talk to a professional trainer about it. It is natural, but you can also train them to stop doing it. This next weird thing about male goldens is one that male golden retriever owners will get to see every day, and that is that they have weird pee habits. Both male and female golden retrievers mark their territories by peeing on things. We all know that goldens love to sniff everything, and when other dogs have been in the area, they're smelling their pee and learning a lot about them. But one of the weirdest things about male goldens and where they pee is that they try to pee higher on things to let other dogs know that they're a big dog. This is why they lift their legs to pee, so that they can get their pee as high up on that bush or fire hydrant as possible. And the funny thing is that if a dog has recently peed high on a bush, the dog smelling that pee will try to pee even higher on that bush. My Golden has literally toppled over trying to aim his pee just a little higher to show the other dogs who's the boss. Even if they've totally emptied their bladder, they'll still lift their legs up on objects. Sometimes my Golden will do that and squeeze out a little drop or two, or even none at all, and then walk away all proud of himself. Now, not all male Goldens lift their legs when they pee, or do it all the time. Young puppies usually don't lift their legs until they get a little bit more mature. And after male Goldens get neutered, they won't lift their legs quite as much, although they still will sometimes. Neutering your Golden has a lot of really important effects on them, some of which can even be life-threatening, which we'll talk about later in this video. But one effect neutering your male Golden will probably have is that they will pee a lot less frequently when they're on a walk. Intact Goldens, or Goldens that have not been neutered, will spray a little bit of pee on a lot of objects as you go, always trying to keep a little bit of pee available to mark more spots. But neutered males will usually empty the tank in only one or two shots. And their potty habits will also be affected by this next fact about male Golden Retrievers. Male Golden Retrievers mature slower than female Golden Retrievers. Yes, Goldens as a breed in general are typically known to be forever puppies and mature slower than other dogs. But if you have a male Golden, then be prepared for an even longer puppyhood. This means that they can be goofy, bouncy, playful dogs even up until they're about three or four years old. They can have a lot of energy and a short attention span, but this is normal for Golden Retrievers. When they're younger, male puppies can be harder to potty train because they mature slower, so you may need to do a little bit of extra work with them and have a little bit more patience with them. If you want help with potty training your Golden Retriever puppy, you can download our free potty training cheat sheet, which I'll link in the description below. If you don't want an energetic, fun-loving dog who wants to play a lot and needs lots of exercise, then a male Golden Retriever probably isn't for you because they do mature so slowly. And if you're considering getting a male golden, or if you already have one, then this next fact has some good news and some bad news for you. A male golden retriever, Charlie from Australia, has the world record for the loudest bark ever by a dog. 
Yes, it can be a little annoying if you're not a fan of barking like me, but there is some good news here. For one, even though male golden retrievers bark louder than females, they often bark less than them. And two, having a golden with a booming bark could be a great alarm system and burglar deterrent if there was somebody suspicious outside. Even if they'd happily welcome that suspicious person into your home, a big bark can often scare them off before they break in. This next fun fact about male golden retrievers is another world record. Finley, a male golden retriever from upstate New York, holds the world record for most tennis balls held in a dog's mouth at one time. He can hold six tennis balls in his mouth, which beats the previous world record from back in 2003 of five tennis balls, which was actually held by another golden named Augie. This next fun fact isn't exactly a world record, but it is really impressive. Male golden retrievers can smell a female in heat up to three miles away. When female dogs go into heat, they release pheromones, which are little smellable signals that tell male dogs they're available to make puppies. So if you have an intact male golden retriever, make sure that your yard is secure or you have them on leash when you're outside. The three mile radius is huge and you don't want your dog to have to pay puppy child support. And speaking of puppies, this next fact may help you out if you're considering getting one. Leo is currently the most popular name for male golden retrievers. In fact, it's the most popular name for all golden retrievers, with the female name, Daisy, coming in as the second most popular name for goldens. This data is from our yearly survey of almost 600 golden retriever owners. Last year, Leo was number 16 on the list and Tucker was number one, but apparently new puppy owners are really into the name Leo now. I'll drop a link to our full list of the most popular golden retriever names for you down in the description. Next up, we have another fun fact about how male golden retrievers compare to females, then you'll learn about the most important fact on this entire list. Male golden retrievers are typically bigger than female golden retrievers. The AKC breed standard for males is 23 to 24 inches tall and 65 to 75 pounds, while the standard for females is 21 and a half to 22 and a half inches tall and 55 to 65 pounds. So males are usually a few inches taller and a few pounds heavier. If you really want a golden retriever, but you want a smaller dog, then a female is probably the better dog for you. Now onto the craziest and most important fact in this video. Neutering male golden retrievers can have a huge impact on their health. There have been a lot of studies about the effect of neutering not only dogs, but golden retrievers specifically. I'll link to our blog post about neutering your golden down in the description where you can get links to all the studies, but let's talk about some of the highlights. First, neutered male golden retrievers, no matter what age they were neutered, are 50 to 100% more likely to be overweight or obese compared to goldens that were not neutered. This is especially important for golden retrievers since they're susceptible to having joint problems, which we'll talk about next, and heart issues. Male golden retrievers neutered before one year of age actually showed double the incidence of hip dysplasia. And another study found that goldens neutered before the age of six months showed four to five times the incidence of joint disorders compared to non-neutered goldens. They also found that male golden retrievers showed the greatest increase in joint disorders, specifically hip dysplasia and cranial cruciate ligament tear. If you have no idea what that is, it's one of the most important ligaments in a dog's knee, kind of like an ACL for humans. And one study also found that males neutered before one year of age had almost three times the occurrence of lymphosarcoma, which is a cancer in the lymphatic system, compared to intact males. But the good news is that in this study, males neutered after one year had no cases of lymphosarcoma. To summarize all this data, studies show that neutering your golden retriever before they reach one year of age can lead to an increase in cancer and joint problems, but waiting until at least a year old is much better for their health. And if you have a golden retriever or you're considering getting one, then you're going to love this next video about how to show your golden retriever you love them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.